Hey guys, it's Nicole, and for this week's nail art look, I decided to do some Pirates of the Caribbean nails. So I used mainly nail stamping and a tiny bit of freehand and filling in for Jack the Jack Sparrow nail and gel polish. So I started off with Madame Glam's Perfect White, Madame Glam's Perfect Black, and Madame Glam's Fresh Water. So I applied the white color to my pinky and then the black color to my ring finger, white again on my middle finger, and then blue on my pointer finger. And I did just a solid red color on my thumb. So this is the third coat of color, and I cleaned up any gel polish that I got on my skin as I went along. And then I'm taking Tammy Taylor Sea of Roses gel, just to do some stripes on my pinky. Which just kind of reminds me of like, Disney's Peter Pan, just kind of of like, the pirates on there, I don't know, red and white stripes, just classic, so that's why I decided to do that because it was a simple and easy accent nail. And then I removed the tacky layer so the red didn't smear into everything else, and then I removed the tacky layer on all my other nails so I can do some stamping. Starting off with this plate, it's the Pirates of the Caribbean plate, and it's I got it off eBay. And so I filled in the different colors, like different beads and Jack Sparrow's face and bandana, just with regular nail polish. I think you would probably also fill it in with acrylic paint if you applied some foil glue to your nail to transfer it, transfer it, or if you put some top coat over it at the end, like a decal. But I've never actually tried that before. So anyway, I'm just filling in his hair right here just with a detail brush from Amazon. And after you apply that, you want to wait for it to dry, but you still want it to be a tiny bit tacky so it will transfer to the nail. That's what I call touch dry. And then I transferred that onto my nail. And then I took an anchor from the same plate and stamped that in silver over my pointer finger. And then I'm taking this Born Pretty store plate to do the skull and crossbones. And I wanted to kind of distress it so it would look like the black pearls flag. So I used some white gel polish and then some rubbing alcohol to kind of spread that out. And I went back in with some white just to add a little bit more of um, a sharp lines, you know. And then once I was cured, I applied a layer of flawless finish to all of my nails just so it'd have a nice shiny layer of top coat on top of it and it'd be protected. So once that was cured I removed the tacky layer and that's how I created this nail art look. So thanks so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you have any questions or tried this look out for yourself let me know in the comments below.